happy Friday. Yes. Uh, Holiday Inn opened last night. There's a brand new musical on Broadway, and in honor of that, who do we have here first? Lee Wilkoff, yay! Musical theater icon. Yes. Uh, who's hilarious in the show. So funny. So funny. Snappy. Very, snappy. <laughs> very show busy and snappy. We love it. Uh, but first, let's talk about the news. So, Holiday Inn, there's all sorts of Holiday Inn stuff on the site. We yes. have photos from last night. Um, we have a new, little new feature we're doing. Yeah. Matt Roden. I don't know if you guys know Matt Roden. He's been doing a lot of fun uh, red carpet videos and the bro, the, the bro, Broadway, bro. Broadway bros. Broadway bros mm-hmm. videos. Which, uh, you got to look up the Cynthia Revo one. Anyway, uh, he is doing the red carpet challenge for us. So, the first of those videos will be up in the next hour. Like, yes. as soon as you're done watching this, you can probably watch it. Yes. So, uh, look for that. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a sequel to A Doll's House. Which I did we know we did we need that? Do we No, but I'm I'm fascinated. Well it's so so it's about what you're you're a real um highbrow drama kind of girl. Are mm-hmm. you a um an Ibsen Ibsen and head? Doll's house? do you worry about Nora, is that her name? Yeah. And what happens she to her? Slams that she door. Walks, Where she walks does she out go? a door. What happens? She walks out a door, right? Wasn't there was a musical in the eighties. See, I just go right to the musicals. Okay. The doll house musical, and in that one I thought it was about what happened when she walked out the door. But this is different. This is really This obscure. is a fancy, fancy <laughs> Uh, Scott Rudin produced play that'll be on Broadway starting April 1st. Uh, Chris Cooper, Laurie Metcalf. Wow. Jane Howdy show, right? It's going to be uh, a big talent. spring drama at the Golden Theater. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's happening tomorrow at 11.30? What's happening PM. tomorrow at 11.30? PM. Lin-Manuel Miranda's hosting SNL. So yes. we asked you guys who else should host SNL. What other yeah. Broadway stars? What other Broadway stars? A lot of Broadway stars would be great doing that, right? A lot of funny people, right, Lee? Yeah, Lee Wilkoff. I'm in, I'm in yeah, for that. No, no, he's not in uh, okay. no, Well, he's there not, are other he's people. Not on the list. He's not it's feeling it. He's not feeling it. Oh, hello. Oh, that, hello. That, so we're off on Monday. We won't be live on Monday. Columbus Day. Um, but Oh, hello is actually opening on Columbus Day. Yes, they are. And uh, we both went last night, and there's special guests every night. That's not a spoiler. No. And after the fact, it's not. We got to who did we see last night as a special guest? Well, are you quizzing me? Like, yeah. I, like you don't do know. Do you remember? I do. It was Seth Meyers, and he was Seth very Seth Meyers. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, very we love cute. Seth Meyers. Very um, likable guy. That Seth do you Myers. know who this is? The name I was trying to say. Uh, sh- 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 excuse me. Shikander. Sh- 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 I'm positive. I don't know that's who this is. How you it, this but is I don't this know is how to do now um, Emmanuel Shikander, whatever his name is. This is a musical. This is so random. This came out of the New York Post yesterday, so random, that Hugh Jackman apparently is circling, as we like to say, a new musical written by Stephen Schwartz that is currently playing in Vienna, which I think we need to go to Vienna immediately. Right. It just opened ready. there. Uh, Trevor Nunn maybe wants to direct it starring Hugh Jackman. It's about, I mean, sign me up. It's about, <laughs> it's about a, uh, I'm looking on Wikipedia, literally. It's a German impresario. And he wrote the libretto to uh, The Magic Flu. I guess that's one of his claim to fame. Anyway, it's a new musical, and maybe I, they need a catchier title unless they're going to teach everyone how to say it. <laughs> I don't know how to say it. <laughs> Francis Raphael is doing the Wild Party. The Michael John LaCusa Wild Party. Which we party. love. In we London, love. Which, so we have to go. Absolutely. In February, it's starting. We're traveling, it looks fun. We love it. Is she Queenie? Queenie was a bomb? Of course she's Queenie. Of course. That's what she anyway, it's, that's going to be good. Mm-hmm. Uh, speaking of um, sexy French things, Les Liaisons Dangereuses. I love how you do that. It's starting so, tomorrow. That's right. And did you did you guys watch the Fresh Face video with uh, Elena Kaporis? She's, yes. She's hilarious. Gorgeous. And like gorgeous, gorgeous. Like but also like gorgeous, hilarious also and, and young and it's fun. It's a good and, combo. So check that out. Mm-hmm. Uh, so happy first performance, Leah Schreiber. It's always nice to have you around in Janet McTeer, as always. Uh, Becky Gulsvig. Right, we talked about this yesterday, but go on. You did? Yeah. I thought there was a news after. Well, she starts Monday. I just want to announce that. She starts, she starts on, Monday on, on the as holiday. As Patty in School of Rock. As, yeah, and she was one of my favorite Elle Woods. I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, <laughs> there Sarah, are a lot of Sarah great Paulson ones. knows all the lyrics to Shoop, as and do she's I. Amazing. Salt and Pepper. Go I'm ahead. not going to do it. I'm not going to do it, but Sarah Paulson did, and it's amazing. All right, fine. There, you can talk about this. There's two videos. We did of, talk about it yesterday. What? Never mind. Mm-hmm. In and transit? Talk about the in transit people? No. The in transit cast. Got together and recorded. Uh, what were they? They were like recording stuff. I don't know why. I don't know what they're doing. But, but they're we very got photos of them, very into so you can other. see them all together, including James Snyder. Welcome back, James Snyder. Hi, James. Good, good to see you, uh, Maddie Balio. Did you know how to say that? Did you say that I, right? Well, you know what? I watched the video and you said it, so now I know. Because she's taught me. She said it's like tally ho. Ballio. Now we all know. Maddie Balio. She's the new Tracy Turnblad. She is one of the nicest kids in town. We did a photo she's shoot with so her. So sweet. 
on Monday and I got to do a little interview with her. She left for Hollywood. She's now gone Hollywood since that interview happened. I think she left like on Wednesday and now she's out there. She's in and, rehearsal for Hairspray Live. And I think Harvey just posted that it's two months from right today. December 7th. Right? Yeah, it's, it's so it, so it's it's almost it's almost time. He says time to start shaving, but that it's gonna grow back. Uh, and there's also an interview. What what what's her name? The the so Christine the Daae. Filmmaker. Yes. The and Dutch she, actress who's playing Christine Daae in London, which is celebrating its thirtieth anniversary. The Monday and, is the big gala. And who's her boyfriend? Richard Fleischman. Oh, Richard we like him. And did you talk about this? I, I did not. Okay. One more thing, and then we're going to let Lee in here. I'm going to get out of here. Uh, the Take Two feature with Mongo Jerry and Rumble Teaser, who are also known as Jess Laporta and, and Shanika Gooden. Yes. And oh, come on, you just got to love them. You do. Mongo Jerry and Rumble Teaser. Uh, okay, I'm going to get out of here. There's a more interesting. That thing was here. hard to pronounce. So why don't you introduce him properly? Ladies and gentlemen, Holiday Inns, very funny, very talented, Lee Wilcoff. <laughs> Oh, he's that here, he's fun. here. <laughs> That's the camera, right? This is the camera. I was confused. Small. I, I thought it was it there, like and I went, she's standing in front of me. I know. Okay, I know. it's all straightened out. Hi, Lee. How are you? I'm really happy because you're here. This um, is I, I adore you. I adore you. you. So we're going to take some, uh, some questions from people, but first I'm going to ask you, how's it going over there at Holiday Inn? Great, great. I mean, the audience is from the night, first. Here. The, the audiences love it. It opened last night. It went really well. They don't always go well. Uh, this is you not know. your first opening. Although night. there was a, like a light problem, we had no technical problems till last night. Somebody came off stage and said that they, they were in the dark, but that's good luck. I think nobody, yeah, nobody knew. No one knew. But it's knew. going really well, and the. The young people, I call them the young people, because the next youngest person in the show is 19 years younger than me. Uh, so they're all young people. They're just, there's nine k kids making their Broadway debuts. That's amazing. And that's amazing. It's great ensemble that's, dancers. It's amazing. And they're all amazing. And they all tap. I took tap lessons when I was five, and I thought it was for sissies. And I wish, I look at them every night, and I went, I, can, I wish I'd have kept it up. I wouldn't be in any of those numbers. Can you jump rope? They could stick you. In I can that jump number. rope. Okay. But not Do you want to me. demonstrate? No. We don't. Have to. No. Nobody wants to see it. Now, I'm, how many? You knew that I really wanted to say suddenly Lee Wilcoff is standing beside me. You know that. I wanted to say that because right. Lee is the original Seymour from Little Shop. Everybody knows that. I don't even know what to ask you about that except that um, uh, I just want to hear one of your favorite memories from that time. Well, this is the story that I tell. <laughs> I mean, there's lots of stories, Subtly but this is one. the best. This is the very best story. Uh, I flew in from Los Angeles. Uh, I was living in Los Angeles. I was chasing that Los Angeles thing. I was out there about four years, and I got a call from the casting director, who I knew personally. She'd never cast me in anything. She said, would you fly yourself back for this musical, Little Shop of Horrors? And I said, yeah. Oh, I watched the, the black and white movie as a kid. Oh, yeah. And I loved it. And I came in and I was auditioning for the role of a dentist. Hmm. And I had a toupee at that time. And I wore my toupee, because I thought that was appropriate. And I had, had known Alan Menken from a little review I did five years earlier. And he laughed at me when he saw me in a toupee. So I pulled it off and Howard Ashman said, yeah, that's, you're, you're, you're not a dentist, you're a Seymour. Okay, so that's not really the, the main part of the story. There was. Alan and Howard were at the, you know, the casting table, and there was a young woman with them, and uh, I got a call that night. I did my, I sang Smile, mm -hmm. Smile, though your heart is aching. I read Seymour. I must have not had it prepared, but I must have read it okay, because I was preparing to do the dance. And the casting director, Darlene Kaplan, called me at my friend's house I was staying, and she said, you called back, and I went, who, who is that cute girl next to Howard? Okay, cut to, I get, uh, I get the role. Mm -hmm. Some months later, I am told that it was between myself for the role and Nathan Lane mm -hmm. uh, to play Seymour. And Howard was convinced, Nathan knows this story, that to use me by this young woman, his assistant, whose name's Connie Grappo. And we will be married 30, 33 years next Amazing. February. 
So that's the best story. That is the best story. That's the main story. I love that that's story. That's the main. And you work with Nathan. You did. I've worked I've several times with recently, Nathan. Right? Nathan's, uh, I've worked with Nathan, I counted, I think, six times. And Nathan is one of the leads in the movie that I directed a few years ago, which is coming out. We're opening in some theaters which slowly. Is called it's called No, no Pay, pay nudity. nudity. There's a comma in there. No Pay. No Pay, Nudity. nudity. Like an ad. It's like the, the ads when I first came to town and backstage, there'd be like the uh, actor, actor wanted, ads. no yeah. pay, nudity. And it's about a bunch of older actors, uh, Gabriel Byrne, Nathan, Franny Conroy, Boyd Gaines, Donna Murphy. These are not slouches. Jay Smith Cameron. Wow. I'm going to miss somebody. Ben what Sinclair of High Maintenance. And uh, Nathan plays a guy named Herschel. He's in a, kind of, he's in a fat suit. And... Uh, we are uh, just found out we're opening in Los Angeles in November and Portland in oh, December Mazeltuff. and Come Boca Raton all the so high is in December all the and we're hoping for New York. All right, I'm going to take Anyhow. some questions from yes, your questions. fans. Well, they love you first of all, but one of the one of the questions everyone wants to know. Hmm. This isn't about you, but this is how it goes mm -hmm. with the fans. What is it like working with Corbin Blue? I love him. I love him. Pers I mean, the, the, the person that I'm most connected to, my character, Danny, is Corbin's character. The, the, uh, well, you play the agent. I right? play the agent of, of the three of them, Megan Sakura and uh, the, the, the Bryce, Bryce Pinkham mm -hmm. and Corbin. But uh, she runs off. I don't need to tell the plot. But Corbin know. I have m m the most to do with. So good that we get along. And we just connected immediately. And I feel very kind of paternal to him, and he is the sweetest young man. He is as sweet as he is massively talented. He's great. He's a, a nice mensch. guy. He's a pro. He He's is a, a mensch. mensch. That's really the he highest is great. honor. Isn't yes, it? yes, that's the highest honor. Garrett you can be wants in my to know: life. Were there any challenges putting Holiday in on the stage? On the stage, we're doing it on or get in together. General, it putting came up on together. Stage. It was a very. It was a pretty difficult process. I have There's to say, a lot to this show. you know, I'm the, I don't sing in it and I don't dance in it, but oh, I you could. witnessed like I, I couldn't dance, but I can do I move well. Uh, uh, there was a lot in previews changed, so that I would consider a, a not a difficult birth, but a but a busy birth. Yeah, it was it was There's a lot to it. It was a lot to it. There's a lot of elements. We're in a theater that has challenges. Um, the, the Studio 54 has like a wing space on one side of two feet and on the other side regular. Because so it, wasn't it was built not as a theater, no, it was built this. as a the disco. No, I, I don't remember what it was originally <laughs> built as. An opera house. But it came together beautifully. But it was a, it was an interesting birth. I love that you call it a birth. David wants to know how was it working with Ellen Green. Ellen Green. Ellen was uh, challenging, very demanding, and very specific on what she wants. And I, Ellen was far more experienced in musical theater than I was. So uh, I was a little, I was sometimes scared of her. But working with her on stage, divine, divine. Did you see her do it again with Jake Gyllenhaal? Oh, yeah, yeah. That was, that was really interesting and cool and fun and made because I had never seen it I'd never oh, really? seen it well you've been in it so much uh, I never went to like see a production of it uh, although you could just like throw us a rock and it's being done somewhere being you know? done somewhere actually somebody it's my brother sent popular. me uh, I did it in my hometown of Canton Ohio the community theater there it had a benefit and I went back my daughter was six now she's 29 so that was 23 years ago and they asked me to do one night and he recorded and I saw myself. He actually sent it to me like two days ago. I'd never seen the footage of me singing That's Suddenly amazing. Seymour. But I was way old, significantly older than when I did it. Um, someone asked, David asked, did you want to do the film version of Little Shop, of the Little Shop musical? You know, I have been asked that. And back in the day, maybe it's still the same way, you do the musical, you don't. You don't do the movie. Of course I wanted to do it, but I never had any high expectation of doing it. Ellen did it, and of course that went like, why can't I do it? And I know, I know, I know this is a fact. I'm not just saying it because my wife was Howard's assistant for many years. Howard wanted me to do it, but I wasn't going to do it. Rick Moranis uh -huh. was the like nerdy guy in movies, right. and he did it. But that was not as disappointing as I didn't get to do London. 
I wanted to do London more than I wanted to do the movie, and my expectation was maybe they'd let me do London, and Ellen did London, and that, that pissed me off. Wow. Bummed me out. Scott wants to know, what dramatic role would you like to tackle? I think I'd like to try Willie Loman. Hmm. I've auditioned for that once. Uh, I auditioned for the role in Red, the role that uh, Fred, Fred Molina did, and that mm -hmm. was really something I'd like to do. Uh, I, uh, it's not a music, I mean, it's not a dramatic role. It is a dramatic role, but it's a musical. Uh, the one role left that I would like to do, because I've played Pseudolus and I've played Sancho mm -hmm. Ponce, I'd like, it's getting a little late, but I think I can still do it. I'd like to do Tevye somewhere, you know, not, I doesn't it. have to be here. It can be, I want to do it somewhere, peoples. You hear that? And I'm, I'm, I'm just letting you know. Maybe you can't tell. You know, I was thinking about you because so many of the shows you've done are coming back this season. Sweet Charity, mm -hmm. the front page. Mm -hmm. It's like you're, it's just mm -hmm. all coming back. The front page I was hoping maybe to do, but it didn't work out. Well, it's not like you don't have a job at this no, point. No, 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 no. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. It was before I got this that front page was casting. But that's I'm really excited to see that. That was like... I was kind of a kid. It was my second Broadway show. Mm -hmm. My first Broadway show was Sweet Charity. Sweet Charity, where I got to work with Bob Fosse. He's kind of stepped in as the director, which was, you know, amazing. And then I did Front Page and all these, like, all these amazing older character actors. Most of them are gone. And I just, I love the old guys. I always gravitated to the old guys for inspiration and their experience and their wisdom. And I said, is, they're amazing, and now I'm one of the old guys. All right, so we've got to get going, but since you're one okay. of the old guys, and since you play a talent agent, why don't you give some, everybody a little piece of advice, and then we're going to go. Don't do it unless you love it. Um, n n I don't have any advice. That's I mean, really I, still, advice. I still, and that's what my movie is about. It's about finding, loving what you do. Winston Churchill said, this, this to me, this was about his life, but it's also about my life in show business. Success is moving from disappointment to disappointment without losing enthusiasm. And I still, I've had many disappointments and many really wonderful things, but I still am incredibly enthusiastic. I still love every night going to work and really grateful for it. So. I'm so grateful you're still doing it. Go see Lee in Holiday Inn at Studio 54, and we will see you on Tuesday. Bye, guys. Bye.